J-Day was a big success. We have the story. Plus, we have all your NSU sports and weather coming up. I'm Lydia Williams. And I'm Ashley French. Your news starts now. NSU's New Media, Journalism, and Communication Arts Department sponsored the 44th Annual Journalism Day. Local high school students got a chance to participate in different events and competitions. It's very exciting to present our 44th Annual Journalism Day at Northwestern. Surrounding high schools around NSU got a chance to learn about the different job opportunities journalism has offered during J-Day. So J-Day is short for Journalism Day and it's an event where we invite local high schools to come to campus so they can learn about different job opportunities with the panelists for instance. J-Day had different panelists available such as sports broadcasting, public relations, and social media. Competitions were also held which were radio announcing, TV broadcasting, media writing, short film, sports writing, and photojournalism. So I think that it's a really cool opportunity for students to learn what it means to be a professional in our industry or perhaps even just learn about the campus atmosphere. So they get to see NSU, they get to learn about the campus itself, our faculty, and the different opportunities that are available. Each student that attends will get a folder which has information about our major, the different minors that you can do, and what that career path would actually look like. So I just think it's a really great recruiting tool and it's really informative and if nothing else the students will walk away with knowledge that they didn't have before they walked into our doors. For your NSU News, I'm Shania Dotry. Picking a college is always hard, but here at NSU we like to give high school students a behind the scene look at college life. Destiny White shows us more. This past Saturday on November 4th, our annual Inside View Day took place. High school students were able to come explore the campus, meet recruiters, and also gain information about the different organizations Northwestern has to offer. Students from Alexandria Senior High School were eager to express their interest in the different organizations they came across. Interested in the biology program and the theater and choir. The nursing? I, I want to study nursing when I get here. While some students are still deciding on the perfect university, others have already claimed their title as a future demon. Oh, the top one, the number one. So. <laughs> For those who may not be familiar with Inside View Day, Damian Glover was able to provide more information. Inside View Day is our, our official PV day for juniors and seniors in high school around the state of Louisiana and out of Louisiana. The main purpose for Inside View Day is to really um, have the final sell of why juniors and seniors should choose Northwestern State University. Earlier today we had a young lady who has already committed to Northwestern State, but because of coming to Inside View Day, she's more committed to coming to NSU. So that's our main thing. We want to make sure that our students um, who come to Inside View Day have the total student experience where they really do not feel that they can get it anywhere else. For your NSU News, this has been Destiny White. Last week, the NSU Theater Department put on a phenomenal performance. Ashley French has more with the story. My dear Alma, it has been some time since we last spoke. I need to see you to discuss something that will surely be worth your while. With just seven weeks of rehearsal and only two weeks of acting lessons, department head and theater director Scott Burrell made sure the cast was ready for the world of play in this year's production, Le Lelon Stangerous. So we took two weeks in the beginning of the rehearsal period to work on some acting exercises to try to get us into the world of the play. We worked on period movement, how women curtsy, how men bow, how, uh, how one would move in a costume 
uh, particularly the ladies who are wearing these huge, heavy uh, dresses as well as these huge wigs, how to, how to present oneself to another person, and how to walk, how to sit. All those things uh, were important. So we spent about two weeks just, to, just working not just on uh, the characters, but the world of the play. One of the main characters in this production was Vicom de Vermont, who plays a prideful rich boy that seduces and destroys the lives of many women to the point where he ends up destroying his own. Theater major Jesse Cortez takes the role of Vermont, a vile character he found to be very manipulative. Never been the bad guy. I've never been the, uh, the, 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 the nasty, no one, no one likes him kind of guy. I mean, in the, in the end, you, you see, like, af after what happens, you see that he, he made, like, kind of a 180, an emotional 180. But, uh, up until that point, he's, he's pretty despicable. And I'd like to think I'm a pretty nice guy. So, and I thought, wow, this is going to be not only really fun, but really, really challenging. The NSU Theater Department will stage its production at the Canny Center American College Theater Festival in Washington, D.C. next year, April 9th through the 14th. For NSU News, I'm Ashley French. Needs help every once in a while. At NSU, we have a place on campus that can lend you that helping hand. The Counseling and Career Services is located in the Freedman Student Union on the third floor. We do counseling in all forms. We do group, individual, crisis, couples, um, you name it, we do it. Okay. Uh, it's all student based. Uh, we also assist faculty as well. The Counseling Career Services offers a 24-hour crisis service for students who face an emergency. And just on the other side of our department is the Career Services, where they assist students in developing their resume, making it stronger, showing them how to do that, preparing for mock interviews for after graduation. And we have the Job Location Development Program, where students you know, need a little extra income. They can apply for this program. They need a minimum of, I think, two point. 2.5 GPA and they help them find employment in the community so we help on uh, varying levels on based on the students needs where they are and what they're needing in that time there are crisis lines for suicide national rape crisis and veterans crisis located on the counseling career services website this diagnosis there doesn't have to be anything really significantly wrong going on in your life it's a place where you can talk about things with another person that's objective, they're not too close to you, so they're gonna have you know, an unbiased opinion. And it could be everyday life struggles. You're just trying to make a decision about something. Um, or you know, you've been carrying some stuff around, you don't wanna put it on the shoulders of people you love. We hear that a lot, and, and it makes sense. To speak to a counselor after hours and on weekends, call University Police at 357-5431, and a counselor will be contacted for you. For your NSU News, I'm Andrea Shine. Do you remember waking up on Christmas morning to find gifts under the tree? Well, not every child in the world has that, but one organization on campus is trying to change it. Most of us have heard of Operation Christmas Child, or even seen the children with the boxes in the foreign countries. But what exactly is Operation Christmas Child? So Operation Christmas Child is a ministry that is used um, to spread the gospel to kids in other countries who don't have the chance to get a Christmas present necessarily like we would. Um, so what they do is they take a box like this and they would take it to um, a child and then they would give them a book that's called um, The Greatest Gift and it would talk about like the gospel and it would show them what Jesus is and tell them about Jesus and then that's how they would receive the gospel through that. Why do you do Operation Christmas Child? What do you get out of it? Uh, being that I'm American and like I feel like I guess I'm entitled to a Christmas gift and like a lot of people don't get that, get that opportunity and just to give this opportunity to something cool to show them that people really care. They may not know who gives it, but I mean, as long as they get something like this, Jesus, that's the greatest gift they can ever receive. What kind of items do you put in the boxes? Hygiene products, toothbrush, hairbrush, comb, um, deodorant, 
or um, like little balls they can play with or um, just little knickknacks that they can play with. Are there things that you can't put in the boxes? You cannot put liquid, you cannot put food or candy or toothpaste. What is the procedure after you're finished packing the boxes? So after a box is completed, um, you can either bring it here to the BCM and we'll take it to the central drop-off location, which is Westside Baptist Church. Um, but after it goes from the central drop-off location, it will go to one of eight um, processing centers in the United States, and then it will go from there across the world to wherever they decide to send that ship. If you would like to help, you can contact the NSU BCM or just come by their building, which is next to Prather Coliseum. You still have time to contribute, and the BCM will be making boxes until next Wednesday, November 15th. I feel like it's good as something to do because, I mean, I mean, I'm not able to go out there and personally give them gifts, but just knowing that, like, uh, I took my time to just help them out in a way and uh, to make them feel like they're worth something. If you'd like more information on Operation Christmas Child and how you can get involved, visit their website. So Matt, we've been having a lot of clear skies lately. Can you tell us this week's forecast? Well, even though the skies have been clear, Louisiana weather can change just like that. So stay tuned after the break. We'll have more energy weather when we return. Northwestern State University offers you the flexibility to take classes and complete coursework on your own schedule. With support from a network of caring faculty, staff, and fellow students, NSU is now offering a flat rate tuition exclusively for online learners. Northwestern State University is nationally recognized for quality, affordability, and student support. To explore our online degree programs and register for classes, visit nsula.edu slash ensu. While at Northwestern State University, I took advantage of a first-class curriculum, majoring in accounting and business. Outside the classroom, I soaked up the opportunities, President of the Student Senate, Mr. NSU. Today, I enjoy a successful career as a financial planner. I'm Greg O'Quinn, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University, and you can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. The Louisiana Scholars College, founded in 1987, combines a great books core program with math and science-based classes. This is what makes it the state's only designated honors college. If you're looking to challenge yourself, your first step is applying today. Welcome back to NSU Weather. I'm your host, Matthew Craig. Let's take a look at our current temperatures so we can see what's going on right now. Sitting right now, our temperature's at 55, humidity's at 90%, and our winds are going northeast at 10 miles per hour. Now, Louisiana temperatures, like I said, Natchitoches is at 55, Alexander is also at 55, up in Shreveport is at 54, further south in Baton Rouge is at 64, and at the tip is uh, New Orleans at 75 right now. And for our Demon Doppler radar, it seems to be a lot of rain coming this way, a lot of rain going, going all across towards Dallas and going towards Tyler, coming towards Shreveport and in issue in Natchitoches way. So try to stay, have a coat, a, a raincoat, an umbrella with you if you got this weekend. And as I was saying, our national radar is coming right across Texas, over towards Shreveport, not further down towards New Orleans or anything in Baton Rouge, but coming all the way, it's going to be a lot of rain and a lot of cool weather. And our low tonight is going to be 43. So if you go out tonight, make sure you have a light coat with you. And our high is going to be 65. So that's nice weather for tomorrow. So if you get out tomorrow, make sure you enjoy that weather. And to end it out on our five day, starting our weekend now, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 69, a low of 41. 
Continue the weekend on Saturday. It's going to be a high 71 with a low of 50, 51. Sunday to end the weekend now, it's going to be, continue to be cloudy with a high 73 and a low of 51. And Monday to start our weekend now, it's going to be cloudy again with a high 72 and a low of 44. So it's going to be pretty cloudy throughout the week. It's going to be cool throughout the night and warm throughout the day. So if you get out tonight, make sure you have a light jacket with you. If you got in the afternoon, make sure you enjoy that beautiful weather. That's going to be it for me. Stay tuned for after the break. We have more NSU news. Hey Demons, my name is Lane Lucky and I'm a proud 2008 graduate of Northwestern State University. I wanna share some exciting news coming from your alma mater. This fall 2016 semester, NSU will offer four new post-baccalaureate certificates that have tremendous potential to advance your career. These certificates are open to all majors, have one flat fee, and can be completed in one calendar year. The topics chosen are among the highest sought skills in business and industry. We offer post-baccalaureate certificates in business analytics, project management, quality control, and writing for business, industry, and technology. If the timing's not right for you, keep us in mind and tell your friends, colleagues, and acquaintances what a wonderful experience you had at NSU and what a great opportunity this is for advancement in their respective careers. Thank you and Forkham Demons. What is it about Natchitoches that draws you in? Narrow roads and brick streets? Walking from here to there? No schedule to follow. Sitting, laughing, lingering. Delicious Louisiana food, quaint accommodations, and lots of unique shops. You'll find the only thing fast is how the time passes. Slow down in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Northwestern State University's trademark is positive student experiences. Our university had the best ratings among the nine University of Louisiana system schools on this year's student satisfaction survey. Northwestern was top ranked university for its campus climate, student services, quality of instruction, registration procedures, and being student centered. I encourage college bound students to contact us to learn more about the positive student experience at Northwestern. It's now time to look at our demon calendar. The Natchitoches Northwestern Symphony Orchestra will present a concert Monday, November 13th at 7.30 p.m. in McGale Recital Hall. Tickets are $10. NSU students get in free with current student ID. The Northwestern State University Jazz Orchestra will present a concert Wednesday, November 15th at 7.30 p.m. in McGale Recital Hall. Admission is free and open to the public. KNWD 91.7 FM The Demon, Northwestern State University's student-run radio station, will present the Neon Inferno, an EDM hip-hop concert from 7 to 11 p.m. Friday, November 17th. The outdoor event will be at the NSU Columns on Normal Hill. The first 100 students receive light refracting glasses. The Spear of Northwestern Marching Band has begun, a, has begun a crowd fundraising event to raise money for the purchase of new uniforms. Director of the band, Dr. Jeff Matthews, says the band is the process. The band is under the process of replacing 350 uniforms. Each uniform just costs over 500. Funding from the university, along with other donations, has raised a portion of the money needed. Donations can be made by going to app.mobilecost.com backslash vf backslash NSU band or by texting NSU band to 7177. NSU Office of Electronic and Continuing Education will offer a pick up your paintbrush class Saturday, November 11 from 9 a.m. to noon in South Hall. The fee is $45. Participants will learn the art of painting using step-by-step -step instruction to create a masterpiece of their own. No special or prior skills required. Students will take home a completed painting at the end of the class. All supplies are included. For more information, call 318. 357-6355 or 800-376-2422. So Regis, what's going on with the Demons this weekend? Well this weekend the Demons will be in action against McNeese State. We'll have Dan Moore with NSU Demon Sports Blitz.
dedication. It is more than a slogan to us. It's our commitment to you. We strive to help you become who you want to be, who you can be. You will graduate from Northwestern State University prepared for a career, prepared for life. A university experience founded on 130 years of tradition, laser focused on your future. Northwestern State University, dedicated to one goal, yours. When I was a little girl, my father taught me about business. He had me pick out a company and follow it in the stock market. While a student at Northwestern State University, my interest in business led to a degree in business administration, and that degree is paying off, as I now own my own company. I'm Sherry Talley, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University. You can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Regis Perry, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. This past weekend, the football team took on Abilene Christian in a back-and-forth battle, which saw NXU victorious. The Demons went in with a few key players not available to play due to injuries. Then Demons even lost their starting quarterback midway through the game. To go along with that, having not leading, a, having not have not having a leading tackle and top receiver, though they were at a disadvantage, Demons pushed through strong and. and from a combo, in a comfort behind overtime victory. The final score was 26 to 23, giving the Demons their second win in two weeks. The Demons now turn their eyes to McNeese State, and everyone knows how big of a game this is. I mean, it's just a rivalry game. I mean, you know, it's up there with Nichols and SFA and Southeastern. It's just one of those that, you know, when when you walk into the stadium, you, you're going to be able to feel the atmosphere. And getting this one would, would mean a lot would mean a lot to this program. Oh, it's already intense. Just thinking about the game, McNeese versus uh, Northwestern State, everybody's already like, okay, this is going to be a good one. It's always tough going down to the Lake Charles and playing these guys. I mean, you can see already they got the number one rushing, I mean, run stop defense in the conference and well, probably the nation. I'm not too sure on the stats on that. but. It's going to be a real tough one. We like to run the ball. They like to stop the run. And we're going to really put each other's best assets to the test. And it's going to be a great one. They have a really good football team, uh, as always, you know, and well coached. And they got really good players in a lot of different places. And one of their better defenses seems like this year are leading the league uh, in defense. Um, you know, Southeastern the other day is uh, leading Russian offense in our conference. And they only gave up 77 yards. Um, defensively so it's going to be a big challenge for our offense and then defense is always it's always a challenge because they're athletic and big in the offensive line they got good running backs got a good quarterback can throw it and he's got some guys out on the edge that can go get it so we're going to have to uh, we got to go toe to toe with them and create some plays and negative plays on defense and then offense we got to create the positive plays and you got to take advantage of when you get field position you have to take advantage of field position in this deal, and you got to win the special teams battle. The Demons are going into the final two games of the season with a lot of momentum. This Saturday night, they take a nationally ranked McNeese State and then come home to finish off the season with Stephen F. Austin on November 18th for the Battle of Chief Cattle. Demon kicker Eric Picciano was ki has kicked NSU to two straight victories and he was named the Southland Conference Special Team Player of the Week and Louisiana Sports Rider Association Special Team Co-Player of the Week. We hope, we hope he can kick the Cowboys to the curb this weekend and the Demons can come back to Natchitoches with a win. The Lady Demon Volleyball team was on the road this past weekend traveling to Texas to take on Houston Baptist. The game was very tense having a four-set match. 
There were times where the Lady Demons were in control, but they would lose their edge over Houston Baptist. Reagan Rogers led with 18 kills and Hannah Brister with 14 kills from the right side. Brooke Wood and Madeline Drake hold the distinguished honor of having the best blocking match of the season. The Lady Demons would lose the match 3-1. to one. The Demons have to shake this loss off because they face Nickel State tomorrow night and McNeese on Saturday, both games in Natchitoches. And your final chance to see the Lady Demons before they head off to the Southland Conference Tournament in Corpus Christi, Texas. The Demon and Lady Demon basketball teams are up and running for the 2017-2018 season. Last Thursday, the teams gave the crowd a taste of what to expect. This season at the NSU <laughs> basketball tip-off event. Now the Demons travel to Austin, Texas Friday night to take on the Texas Longhorns before coming home for the first game against Laterno on Sunday. While the men are over in Austin Friday night, the, the Lady Demons will be in Oxford, Mississippi, taking on Ole Miss before returning home, also to take on Laterno Sunday afternoon. And for all your Demon Sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get game recaps, schedules, and more from our sports information department. And that will do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Regis Perry. That, that'll do it for this edition for NSU News. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashley French. And I'm Lydia Williams. Have a great night. Y'all think great?